deep, take a deep breath in with me. Hold for four seconds. One more time, take a nice deep breath with your diaphragm, open up your lungs, take a deep breath in. Hold for four seconds and release for four seconds. And that's how you fill your lungs up with air and you feel good. Now, brothers and sisters, what is the water relationship, okay? You see, how does how is water? What is water like? Water flows, right? Now, I like to flow like water. That's how the way I like to flow. But I also like my relationships flowing like water. Now, we have two types of relationships. Shout out to my mentor. He taught me this. We have the Coca-Cola relationship. What is the Coca-Cola relationship? The Coca-Cola relationship is an imbalanced relationship in which, well, it will probably never prosper. And basically, if you don't know about Coca-Cola, it's filled with sugar and toxins and it's toxic. So what is it? The Coca-Cola relationship, plain and simple, if you know what I'm talking about. It's a toxic a very toxic relationship now I'm going to tell you I'm gonna to explain to you some relationships I've been in so I was in a coca-cola relationship once and her name was you know I am gonna drop her name Lana okay and now we had a good relationship the problem is that we used to use drugs together and I'm not a drug addict anymore but I was and we used to, it would have never lasted so if you're in a relationship where you're using drugs with this individual I'm here to tell you you're not it ain't gonna work okay it's not going to work mark my words until you get sober you will not find an individual that you will love I mean I'm not I'm not gonna say that for sure you might but you'll be using that with them for the rest of your life now the water relationship it flows like water now, water fills every crevice. So, look. You like the way that sounds? Me too. It's the, this is what I have. The water relationship with my honey buns. My baby girl. My love. And I love her dearly. And there's not a thing that I would not do for her. See, I'm vlogging about love, baby. Because I, I I'm in love with love. So, I've been told. So, we have this water relationship. And how is our relationship? Well, I would say it's pretty damn close to being perfect. Now, why do I say that? We don't argue. We agree to disagree, which we pretty much have the same views on everything. But let me explain something else beautiful about the water relationship. You will start seeing things and acknowledging things that you didn't know even existed. For example, for example, it comes from the heart. When you find this individual, everything you say, everything that happens, it comes from the heart and you mean it. I'm speaking for myself, I mean every word I say to this woman. Why? Because this woman that I'm marrying, yes, this is the first time I'm saying it on camera, I'm getting married and I'm so excited because it seems like marriage is a thing of the past. And which is sad because marriage is an oath to that individual that you love. And it is the bringing together of a man and a woman that makes one flesh. Let me state that again. Bringing together the divine masculine, the divine feminine into one flesh. Okay? And it's a beautiful thing that has been going on for a long time now. Our generation, which is really sad. It's sad. Why? What's going on with our generation? Why is nobody getting married? Now what do I see? Kids are, people are, kids are having kids. People are having kids. But yet nobody wants to get married. But marriage is one of the most beautiful, sacred things that there are on earth. Shout out to my elders. My elders know what I'm talking about. And my elders, I'm sure, agree. Now, I've acknowledged walking around, you know, I live in South Florida, so there's a lot of elder people, and I respect, the sh I respect my elders, and I listen to my elders, because they're right. They've been there, and they've done it. What have they been there and done? A lot of things that we have, you know, we, we live in different times, and I understand 
under, you need to understand that timing is everything. Timing is of the essence. And this is sacred knowledge that I'm here to bring to you, but marriage is something so beautiful. It's bringing together the unity of two families, but most of all, it's bringing together love into one love. Hence, shout out to Bob Marley, hence the term one love. Now, I was a little man whore at one point. I'm not going to deny it. And I was sleeping around. Now, I thought about it to myself, and this is what probably a lot of men are scared of. Could they have sex with that one person for the rest of their life? Well, I'm going to tell you in my case, absolutely. This person, I adore her from head to toe. Everything about this person, I love. Every little thing. And this is how you know when you love somebody, when you can accept them for all their flaws. And I'd say she's flawless because I don't see any flaws in her. Now, other people might beg to differ if they were to know her. I mean, she was an alcoholic, and I'm not putting her on blast, but I was an alcoholic too. But we, this is the water relationship. We bring the best out of each other. So a lot of times this is what you'll see in a water relationship. So let's say you get together and you both are not doing well. For example, taking drugs, drinking, which that's what we were doing, drinking on a regular basis. But for some reason, when one wants to stop, the other one wants to stop. Why? Because it's a mutual respect. It's a 50. In relationships, everything, they don't have to be 50-50. But from what I'm acknowledging, 50-50 is the way to go in relationships, okay? And this woman in my life, I used to say girls a lot because that's what they were. A lot of times you'll have to deal with girls. But what you want is a real woman. A real woman that's going to hold you down night and day, day and night. Somebody that's going to be there for you when you're sad, emotional. Somebody that's going to be there for you through thick and thin. Somebody that's going to be there for you no matter what situation you're in. Whether you're broke, whether you have a shit ton of money. Okay, when she could be gold diggers. But that's not the point. My children... Think in terms of three, six, nine. When you find this person, you don't let them go. And again, I've been in love one, two, twice, okay? And the first girl I was in love with, we were a little too immature. The second girl I was in love with, um, we were using together. Now, the third girl that I'm now in love with, and they say the third time's a charm, right? That it is. I look forward to spending the rest of my... I can honestly say this with a straight face. I want to spend the rest of my life with this girl. And I bought her an engagement ring. And it makes... Every morning when I wake up next to her, I do the same thing. I crawl on top of her and I start giving her kisses. And I wait for her eyes to open. And when her eyes open, it, like these big, beautiful eyes drop. Big, beautiful blue eyes drop down. And she's awake and... <sighs> The feeling that it gives me, and, and I've again, I've been told, I got deja vu, that I'm in love with love, and I very much am in love with love, but the feeling that it gives me is, is the most wonderful feeling that you will feel, and this is where it comes down to money, okay? Now, they say money can buy happiness. My mom likes to say that, or the woman that is posing as my mom, I don't believe it is my mom, but I will tell you. Money won't buy you happiness. Now, love will bring you happiness. Now, when you have love with money, well, I'm sure <laughs> then it's a lot of fun. But you have to remember everything is timing. Life. Everyone's fucked in life, man. Why? Because we are not abiding by the commandments in the, the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were written in order to keep us on an even slate, to make sure that we're doing things correct. Now, do I completely agree with them? Absolutely, man. They're nothing, it's nothing but a guide, and it doesn't mean you have to adhere to every rule. 
But love is love. And when you find a person that you love, you know it. I know it. And I'm absolutely in love. Like, there's no breaking this bond. No man, no woman can come into my life. No man can come in her life and break this bond. Because this bond that we have, it's an everlasting bond. And I'm not scared to have sex with one person the rest of my life. Actually, I'm quite excited because I am totally infatuated with her mind, body, soul, and spirit. With that said, peace be with you and also with you. Family, I love you. And this is the reason why I'm spreading this good word. Okay? I love you, family. Understand that. I want to give my thanks and praises to the universe. My thanks and praises to my mentor specifically. My thanks and praise to everybody and my thanks and praise to God. May peace be with you and also with you. When you find love, you'll know it.